The BBC. Six EFL matches could see the return of fans next Wednesday, the 2nd of December, with Luton, Wickham, Charlton, Shrewsbury, Cambridge and Carlisle all placed in Tier 2 by the government. Those games will be allowed up to 2,000 fans. Jose Mourinho's Tottenham are also in a Tier 2 area. He says for a club of their size, the boost for the players will far outweigh what they bring in in gate receipts. Looking at it by... The economical perspective, I don't think uh, there are good news for any club, but for the happiness of every player is a good feeling. QPR's director of football, Les Ferdinand, has told BBC Sport he doesn't want to be considered for the vacant FA chairman's role right now. The former England striker wouldn't, however, mind seeing a former footballer do the job if they were qualified. I'd like to see a former player or someone who just understands the whole concept of diversity and everything else that's needed in uh, if you've got your leading light which is the, the DFA that's supposed to be the example to everybody and you've got no diversity in that organisation it's very very difficult for them to push programmes out to filter it down the, the footballing chain. Everton are waiting to discover the severity of an ankle injury suffered by France left-back Lucas Dean in uh, this in training this week. There are fears he may require surgery. The Leeds United manager Marcelo Bielsa says his countryman Diego Maradona couldn't have been better and will continue to be an idol. Argentina is paying re- its respects to the national icon with three days of mourning. Match of the Day presenter Gary Lineker travelled to the country when making a documentary about Maradona and he witnessed people's devotion to him firsthand. The door was open a little bit into his lifestyle and it was extraordinary. Uh, uh, hundreds of people around him. He was treated like th- he was the Messiah, which footballistically in many ways he was, but he's so revered in Argentina that everywhere you went with him there was madness and to live like that must have been incredibly difficult. Ahead of Saturday's Autumn Nations Cup clash against Wales, the England head coach Eddie Jones has named six forwards among his eight replacements. That's instead of the usual five. George Ford makes his return into England starting 15 at fly half. As for Wales, scrum half Lloyd Williams will make his first start for four years. Flanker James Botham retains his place in the back row, with Justin Tipperick and Josh Navidi both out. The RFU, meanwhile, have confirmed they will host 2,000 fans at their final Autumn Nations Cup match a week on Sunday. Let's check in on the UK Snooker Championship in Milton Keynes, where the defending champion Ding Junhui has started his title defence. Jamie Broughton is watching the action at the Marshall Arena. And the three-time UK champion is taking on amateur player Jamie Curtis Barrett. Dings won the opening three frames without having to play that well so far. His opponents had chances in all those three frames but failed to capitalise. Meanwhile, the world number 16 Jack Lazowski is closing in on victory against Blackburn's Farah Kajabe. Lazowski's knocked in breaks of 74, 84, 100 and 132 to lead by five frames to nil. And earlier today, Mark Allen booked his place in the second round with a 6-1 win over Jamie Wilson. And finally for now, Scottish golfer Kelsey MacDonald is in second after her first round at the Andalusia Open. She's one shot off the lead held by Finland's Sana Nuttinen. That's the latest from BBC Sport. BBC Sport.